afternoon everyone on Safari Live. It's Sam Chevalier here, a presenter out on Table, Na Table Mountain National Park. If you have a look, we've got a beautiful looking silver tree that's just over here with the wonderful city behind us. So that's where we are. And I just thought I would send a message out to everyone. I just wanted to let everyone know that that it's been quite a tough couple of weeks. I've been I've been down in Cape Town to kind of figure out what's going on with my with my my hearing. Um, basically, I'm completely deaf in this ear. I don't have much hearing in this ear, and this ear has been going through a problem called eustachian tube dysfunction, which means that my ear opens and closes uh, because of the external environment and and other things. Maybe you know, there's all sorts of things that might be influencing the ear. When I'm driving in the vehicle and the wind goes across, it's the cold in the morning, uh, the earpiece, um, all sorts of things are contributing to, to, my, to my lack of hearing. And um, it was making me quite uncomfortable out there in the bush. Uh, it's very nerve-wracking when you're out on safari and next thing you have to do is, is speak live uh, for an hour and a half while you can't hear what, um, what, what you're saying or, or, or what you're doing. It, was, it just became really, really difficult. Um, and I came back to Cape Town and went to my doctor my doctor basically said that you know I'm choosing a profession that's that's not very good or conducive for the time right now my the time in my life at the moment with this ear doing this I'm just creating a little bit too much risk and I don't think it's very responsible of me to risk the only ear I have and also risk you know being out in the bush you have to be careful you have to be very aware of what's going on around you from the from the lion the leopard to the elephant to anything so I've decided that I need to stay in Cape Town and look after this ear and be responsible of it until I can really know that it's that it's much better and that could take a couple months a couple years we don't know um, but for the moment it's not it's not it's not gonna work so at, with that I just wanted to say thank you to to everyone at Safari Life you know every single person from the people in camp to the people in final control to the viewers of course every single one of you have been uh, a critical you know critical to this experience it's been unreal it's been waking up every morning to go find a leopard to go and experience life in its raw material form which was which was really gave me a lot of value a lot of value to my life and to I think many of yours I got to share that with you it was only two months but it was an incredible two months and I had a fantastic time and and so I'm gonna be back in Cape Town um, I'm not too worried about being back um, it's gonna be okay you know like these things happen you lose your hearing a little bit and you just move on and life will take you in different directions and so I'm actually, I've got my twin brother here, who's you know, obviously my best friend and all my other friends that live in Cape Town. And they're very supportive of what's going to happen and I'm going to try and figure it out from there. And um, if you want to follow me, I'm going to start building a brand and a business around Rewild, which you'll find on Facebook, the Rewild page. Um, as well as trying to create a business out of that or, or anything, you know, in terms of bringing wilderness to schools and, and education to schools around the importance of ecological systems and how we need to experience nature in order to conserve it. I think compassion comes from the experience of the natural world and that's the way in which we are best going to help it. So with that, I just want to say thank you to every single one of you. Hopefully you can still follow my journey as I will follow yours in Safari Live as I know you'll still be going out there every day. I'm sorry to be leaving you, but I don't think I am leaving you. I'm just leaving, it, leaving you for another medium and um, I still look to explore ways of presenting and, and sharing the experience of the natural world from frogs to, to Fainbos, beautiful, beautiful ecology here in Cape Town. Um, so. Thank you and thank you very much everyone at Safari Live. I'll chat to you soon. All the best. Keep well and good luck looking for those beautiful animals in the Safari Life.